Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. How are we all on this fine Thursday morning? I feel like this week's starting to go slowly, which is quite sad. I know I said at the beginning of this week that this week was going, this month has been really quick, but uh, this week has, I feel like has gone quite slow. I've jinxed it, is what I've done. Right, good morning everybody, how are we all? I am a little tired, although I did manage to go back to sleep. Chris uh, was offered some overtime this morning, which meant he had to leave an hour earlier, which considering he already leaves very early in the morning to get to work. Um, and we had to get up even earlier, so I let myself go back to sleep. I think I went back to sleep for like an hour or so, which is nice because normally I never, I never manage to get back to sleep after Chris has got up for work. So that was nice. We had a nice cuddle. Look at this upside down kitten. <laughs> She's so precious. And yeah, kind of been getting up slowly, editing the vlog. About to sit down and start my uni work for the day. Today, I think I'm going to start one of my assignments for my other module today. I really want to get back into the habit of three days a week focusing on my dissertation and two days on the other module because last week I didn't do that for the sake of making room for uh, my interview that I had to do for my dissertation last week because um, I'd fallen behind with the two and a half weeks or whatever it was of not two and a half weeks, a week and a half of delay but I want to get back into three days a week of my dissertation, two days a week of my other module because it's important I do well in both and I need to give kind of an equal amount of time to both but obviously slightly more to my dissertation just because it's a bit more weighted. This module that has two assignments, one of which is an end of module summary essay, um, so I can't really start that until we've finished all of the classes which isn't until the end of March which is going to be around the time that I start getting my last feedback for my um, dissertation. I'm working on the last of my uh, work for that and um, I don't really want to have a third assignment on top of that to be worrying about as well. So I feel like I need to start it now while I can, at least get a first draft started now so that when it gets to that time I don't have to think about three assignments in one go. I can only, I only have to worry about two. Technically I only have to worry about one because my dissertation will be pretty much finished, it will just be a case of perfecting and editing it, but yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to start working on that, get as much of it as I can, as I feel like I can done. I don't feel like I have enough information necessarily to finish it, if that makes sense, but I have enough to like get a solid start, I think. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. And then, yeah, standard, standard lockdown, uni life, student day. As it always is. Can't offer much at the moment, can I? But I can offer your sweet little face. Look at her sleeping like an angel. She's so cute. Oh my goodness, good afternoon everybody. I'm having a time. <laughs> I did my essay, well I started my essay. Um, second assignment for my other module. It's going really well actually. I'm quite... Um, chuffed with how well I've done so far. I had a really clear idea of how to start it and I have a clear idea now of what to do next as well um, and I'm trying to make it really really perfect first time round so that when it comes to making changes and edits I don't have to make very many. <laughs> so yeah I've written the first just over 500 words. It's a 1750 word essay so a solid enough chunk, not massive but Big enough. I'm quite impressed with it. Is it half? It's not almost half, is it? What's half of 1750? I don't know why I'm bothering to work it out. Let me work. 875 is the halfway point. So I'm almost there. You know? Almost there. I'm quite chuffed with it, to be honest. I reckon if I write at the same kind of rate that I have done for the next two weeks, I'll probably get it done by the end of. March before the end of March which is great because that means that then I can focus on final dissertation edits and the other assignment in this module. Uh, so that's great. I'm really glad that I'm doing that and it's been going really well but I was on it for a very long time and it got to the point where I was getting delirious because I hadn't had lunch yet. So I got up, did the laundry, all that jazz, 
I've been given the task of getting the bins in. But the bloody bin men are really late today. They normally come like two hours ago. They, 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 they're not arrived yet. So I went out to go get the bins and they were at the top of the street. And I was like, oh, they haven't got here yet. Great, I'll go back in like 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, I had heard them go past other houses. So I was like, oh, they've done it. So I went out again, still haven't done it. They're taking a really weird, awkward route. I have no idea where they are or what they're doing. But um, yeah, apparently, apparently they're going a really weird way. So I have to remember to go down and get the bins in, in like an hour, because I'm going to forget. And then I had a whole kerfuffle with my lunch. I was taking the clean laundry upstairs. I was also carrying my lunch. I, was, I don't know how it happened. I was like moving the bowl in a way so that I could carry both and the edge of the bowl caught the handle of the laundry basket and I may or may not have tipped my entire Thai green curry into the clean laundry basket. Mm. It was that kind of a day. Luckily most of it went onto the counter um, but I have had to put one thing back in the wash. Most of it avoided the clothes, the bits that did go into the laundry basket. It avoided all the clothes bar one thing. Um, so yeah, that's been, that's been my afternoon. Now I'm going to finally sit down to eat my lunch. Uh, then I'll check on the bin situation again. But yeah, we've had a good solid productive morning that has led to my brain clearly falling out of my ears and not paying attention to anything that I'm doing today. So, yeah, I'm gonna cuddle my cat, sit down and chillax, and then I'm gonna wash my hair because it's hair wash day today. God, I suck. Good evening, everybody. It's me up to seven. And it's been cooled down for dinner. My hair looks a bit weird. I've literally just done it in pigtails because it's just kind of dried, but it's still a little bit sticky outy and damp. <laughs> It will go down when I sleep on it, but still, it's quite a big lump. Yeah, what else was I gonna want? What else was I gonna say? It's in the standard lockdown afternoon. We got a delivery of goodies. My friend uh, at school, who was the friend who helped me with my interview the other week, um, just started a bakery a few months ago, a couple months ago, I think. And um, we ordered some, and it came today. I've got some, I can't really show you in this light. But we got some fudge and we got some brownies. I haven't had a brownie yet, but Chris says they're very good and the fudge is really good. And we also got a cheesecake, which is in the fridge, but that's super exciting. It was really nice to have that. I'm running out of snacks. I need some more snacks in my in my life, in my room. Sweet snacks. I'm a sweet tooth. Hello, I just be called out for dinner. Who knows what the evening plans are? We also started watching season eight of Ruby. I think that's what we were doing. We were watching a bit of Ruby. It's become a, a thing now, which is sad because season eight is like still being released like weekly. So we're already on like episode three of season eight. So we've only got like five episodes left before we run out. And it's like, what are we gonna do after that? Go back to stretching out video games and surveys <laughs> until that time, huh? Wee kitten. She's been very cute and cuddly today. Anyways, yeah. It's, uh, it's dinner time. Oh, not yet. I think she knows I'll just bring it to you now. She doesn't have to get up. Her eyes are closed. She, she had her head up a second ago today. I need to say hello before she fell asleep. Hey, shippies. Oh. Oh, all this excitement. Come on. It's not being a princess. <laughs> Come on, cameraman. Cooperate with me. Sorry, I got the sniffles. You also gotta follow me. Come on. <sighs> Step us look. There you go. You're being silly. You're making this difficult for us. I'm getting you a treat. <sighs> Come on, cameraman. Good evening, everybody. It's evening time. We just had our dinner. Watched the first episode of The Vanishing at the Cecil. It's not the Cecil Hotel, it's the Cecil Hotel. 
I assumed it was Cecil because it's spelt the same way Cecil is, but I guess in America they pronounce Cecil Cecil, maybe? Cecil. Or maybe it's a regional thing, I'm not sure. That's how you spell Cecil. So I assumed it was Cecil, but I guess lots of people say Cis Cecil. Oh my god, so, so we watched episode one of that. Distressing! We haven't watched a crime drama in a while. It's a bit of a... Bit of a... Whew. I mean... Whew, the I world sucks. Seen the first episode, but she did say she was, well, paraphrasing that she was wild and she was up for anything or something new and exciting. Yeah, she said she wanted to explore. But she said and she was, was quite extroverted. She said she was uh, up for something. Reck no, she said she was going to be reckless. In literally one of her Tumblr posts that said, I'm going to be reckless or something. Did it say, I'm going to be reckless or sometimes I can be reckless? She said, I want to be reckless. Because then she followed up with, like, tell a guy I've just met that I love him or something. No, that's that post said, sometimes I can be really reckless and just tell a random person oh, that I like them I just met them. Well, still, the emphasis is she said she can be reckless. She doesn't think things through very quickly. She's quite yeah, impulsive. She gets herself into trouble and then yeah. she was acting so strange like she was on drugs. Like Yeah. Like on a really bad trip. Yeah. So the only thing I can't explain from that is the elevator. Well, the, the fact that the door didn't close. Yeah. Yeah, that was really weird. Especially if she pressed the buttons. Yeah. She closed after like five seconds, but it stayed open for like four minutes. That makes no sense. It's really trippy, you guys. It's uh, it's good. We're 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 in, and we're gonna spend the next few weeks watching it. <laughs> but yeah, it was an okay day today. Pretty decent. Got some work done that I wanted to get done, which is nice. Had a bit of a miss. Oh, I didn't tell you what I did at lunchtime, Chris. What did you do at lunchtime? Spilled my Thai green curry into the clean laundry. <laughs> What? How? How? <laughs> I, I was trying to put the bowl like on top of the laundry to carry upstairs and the bowl caught the handle and just... Most of it went on the kitchen counter. I, I managed to push the basket out of the way and I only had to put one thing back in the wash. But I had that kind of a day today. <laughs> wow. I've also had a really sore chin all day. I don't know how to describe it. Just under my lip it's just been so like sore and itchy. I've tried moisturising it and it feels a bit funny. I don't know what's wrong with it. I have got the sniffles. Yeah, Chris has mysterious hay fever. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> I, like, I don't think it's hay fever. It can't be hay fever, can it? Yeah, you can get hay fever all year round. Depends what you're triggered by. Well, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it is hay fever because I sat down at my desk, felt absolutely fine, and didn't even have the sniffles. And then I opened my window, and I was like destroyed within like three minutes. I was an absolute mess at my desk. I had like headaches. Mm. My eyes went super puffy. I don't know. Started running. Started sneezing constantly. Oh dear. And then I closed the window, and I was fine. So. Blood noisy, isn't she? Something outside was triggering. It's, me. Yeah, something outside. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Who knows? Good. It's bloody cold out at the moment, so. Is it? I mean, it's not as cold as it has been, but it's still winter. It's warming up there. It's like it was like twelve, thirteen degrees. Today. It's still quite cold. It was like minus four. Yeah, I'm saying it's not as cold as it has been, but it's still cold. It's still winter. Fun fact: for the first day we went to Malta, it was sixteen degrees. Yeah, that's quite cold. <laughs> we were around shorts though. Yeah, I think we were hoping for it to be warmer. Anyways, we are going to end the vlog here and go to bed. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Say nice little push. Hi, Chris. Yay. Night.